Welcome to Chase Talks. My name is Chase. Today we're going to be opening up the T65X Wing expansion for Star Wars X Wing. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up and let's see what's inside. And we're going to be going over the lore, of course, like we always do. But let's go ahead and see what's inside. All right, here is our T65X Wing model. I'm going to go ahead and take it off the stand. Get a closer look at it. There it is. You can see the red stripe all the way down, which is differentiating it from if I grab red five really quick. You can see the side by side comparison between Luke's X Wing and a standard X Wing. Pretty cool. And there's, of course, some differences on top as well. Point the nose at the differences you can see in the paint job. Pretty cool. But of course the nose I think is the easiestly identifiable place. Though there is difference in the wing design as well. And he's got the yellow on his engines and this one's not. So there are in yellow on the nose. So there's definitely a lot of differences. But the red line to me stands out most prominently. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put Luke away. So we can take a look at just this X-Wing. flies away <laughs> um, and you can see this one's S foils do open as well so you can either open lock our S foils in attack position or lock them in a cruising position I don't remember what they call it when they're locked I know this is a locked in attack position but I guess that'd be cruising position boosting position I'm not sure cruising position makes a lot of sense to me if it's not called cruising position it should be Probably gonna be like runaway position. Alright, we're gonna sit that. We're gonna sit this down, locked in attack position. Let's take a look at the cards. And all of our X Wings do come with the focus action, the lock action, a barrel roll, three attack, two evade, four haul, and two shield. Now, our first card is none other than the famous Red 2 Wedge Antilles himself. One of the only people to actually survive the trench run, the trench run on the Death Star. We got Red 2 and Red 5 being the only ones that survived. Luke Skywalker and Reg Antilles. As well as there was also a Gold Squadron pilot that survived. And then Han Solo, who's the reason that Luke was able to complete it without getting shot down by Darth Vader. For Wedge's ability, it says, while you perform an attack... The defender rolls one fewer defense die. Really good ability. Needs initiative six pilot. Our next is our initiative five, which is Thane Carell. Just Corona four. Thane Carell actually appeared in the Lost Stars book, and they're actually doing a Lost Stars like web comic. It's like an anime web comic. It's really cool. I really like the art style, like the anime esque art style. Um, looks really cool. Oh, it's full anime art style. It's like reading a manga. It's pretty awesome. And his ability is, while you perform an attack, you may spend one focus, damage, or crit result to look at the defender's face down damage cards. Choose one and expose it. That's really cool. It gives him the ability to add in that extra big damage on a crit, especially if you look at that face down and be like, oh, it's a direct hit. Here, take a damage real quick. <laughs> um, it gives you a uh, really cool. Versatility there um, and viability. Thane Carell is a good pilot. He was actually another pilot, like many, that deserted the Empire after the destruction of Alderaan, witnessing it firsthand, and then becomes a T-65 X-Wing pilot. Next we have Garvin Dreyas, who is Rebel, a re Rebel, Red Leader, not Rebel Leader, Red Leader, um, who was, just, he was shot down during the Battle of Yavin, but he also participated in the Battle of Scarif as well. Um, with Red Squadron, and he's Initiative 4 pilot. It says, after you spend a focus token, you may choose one friendly ship at range 1 to 3. That ship gains one focus token. I got like a weird shadow. Let's see if I can fix this with the light. The sun's starting to come up, so it's casting a weird shadow on me. Recording this stuff early in the morning. Next is my initiative three pilot, none other than Biggs Darklighter, who unfortunately did not survive the trench run, but he was another Tatooine native that grew up with Luke Skywalker. 
Um, and his ability says, why another friendly ship at range 0 to 1 defends before the neutralized result step? If you are in the attack arc, you may suffer one damage or crit damage to cancel one matching result. Really cool. Biggs allows himself to absorb damage for whoever is being attacked. He can absorb damage for Wedge and Luke to make sure that they can complete the trench run, sacrificing his own life to Darth Vader. Next, we have our Red Squadron Veteran. Um, and this card is our Initiative 3 pilot generic. And it says, traded as an elite Starfighter Squad Red Squadron. Including some of the includes some of the best pilots in the Rebel Alliance, other than Reg, Luke, Dreas, and Biggs Darklighter. Next is our Initiative Two pilot, which is Blue Squadron Escort. It says designed by Incon Corporation, T sixty five X wing quickly proved to be the most efficient and versatile military four vehicles in the galaxy. And boon to the rebellion. Of course, when you have an all round, all purpose versatile fighter, it can be none other thing than a boon your entire thing matching both um in offense it can be a bomber i uh, blew up the death star it's crazy and when the y wings couldn't the x wing could we have our 265 or two t65 generic upgrade cards or recommended upgrade cards move it back so you guys can see those a little bit better okay and now we're getting to our upgrades our first is a talent, which is selfless. It says rebel only, and we got a nice Wookiee up there. It says, while another friendly ship at range, zero to one defends before the neutralized result step. If you are in the attack arc, you may suffer one crit damage to cancel one crit damage. Gives you kind of the Biggs Dark Lighter ability, but only for crits. Next, we have Ion Torpedoes. It says attack with a lock. Spend one charge. If this attack hits... Spend one damage or crit result to cause the defender to suffer one damage. All remaining damage slash crit results inflict ion tokens instead of damage. And it's a four dice attack at range two to three with two shots, two energy. Next, we have our R2 Astromech. After you reveal your dial, you may spend one energy and gain one disarm token to recover one shield. So you get two energy, it lets you recover two shields. Next we have our R4 Astromech, which says, decrease the difficulty of your speed, one to two maneuvers. Um, and then it shows it's for the hard, the turns, and the straights in all directions. Or um, the hard, the bank, and the straight. And that's only for small, ship, small ships. Next we have Servo Motor S Foils open. So before you activate, you may flip this card. Flip. Now you have servo motor F foils closed, and this adds a boost action and it also gives us a focus into a red boost. And it says while you perform a primary attack, roll one fewer attack die. Before you activate, you may flip this card. So that is our T65 X Wing really quick. Let's go ahead and show that maneuver dial. Some of the cardboard that we get here with our two shields. The different arcs for the pilots, all the different cardboard we get, our energy. And that is our T-65 X-Wing expansion for Star Wars X-Wing tabletop miniature game. And thanks for watching. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe so you never miss another episode of Chase Talks. Until next time, this is Chase, signing off.